all have a great Thanksgiving and don't eat too much turkey. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanksgiving. Mr. President, do you have any big plans for your last Thanksgiving at the White House? Well, we don't know what is last. Uh, if you look at what's going on, you have to really take a look at what's going on. Uh, they're finding tremendous discrepancies in the votes, and nobody believes those numbers. Those numbers are uh, incorrect numbers. Uh, a lot of numbers have already been reported that's incorrect. You're going to see things happening over the next week or two that are going to be shocking to people. Uh, if you look at the numbers in Michigan, if you look at the numbers in Pennsylvania, if you look at fraudulent voting and fraudulent votes, so I can't say uh, what's uh, first and what's last in terms of is this uh, the last one or is this the first one of a second term? We'll see what happens. Nobody wants to see the kind of fraud that this election has, has uh, really come to represent. Uh, we are looking at things that are so bad in Georgia. They don't want to show us signatures. The reason they don't want to show us signatures is very simple, uh, because uh, we will find thousands and thousands. It's a very close race. It's hair thin. Uh, but we'll find thousands and thousands of discrepancies, uh, fraud. Uh, why they aren't wanting to show those signatures is amazing. Uh, they're doing recounts, and even in the recount, they found thousands of votes that were off. But now we want to look at the signatures, and you will find tens of thousands of false ballots, forged, forged uh, ballots. You'll see it all over. You're going to see a lot of it. And uh, you go to Pennsylvania. You saw the meeting we had yesterday with Pennsylvania. Uh, you saw people come up, and they went to vote, and they said, no, you can't vote. Somebody else already sent in a ballot and a woman. But this is happening tens of thousands of times. I think it was 600 and some odd thousand, 687,000 uh, fraudulent votes cast in Pennsylvania. And I will tell you, the, uh, if you look at the State House now, the Republican State House, they're starting to see what's going on there. But they've really known it for a long time. Then you go to Michigan. And you look at what happened in Wayne County in Detroit. I went through a list. I won almost every county, and you see it, almost every, by 78 percent, 72 percent, 68 percent, going through the list. Then you get to Wayne, and something happened. Tremendous numbers. You saw the canvassers. They refused to sign their, their document because they said, we can't sign a fraudulent document. Horrible things went on. That's in Wayne County, Detroit. But you look at the votes that were just uh, tabulated, and they were left today. Look at all the counties. I won almost all of them, except Detroit was so uh, egregious. It was phony. Uh, look at what's going on in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, they're finding tremendous discrepancy. You just take a look at that. Tremendous discrepancy, and elsewhere. So we're going to see what happens. But you can't have somebody assume office and already, they want to get rid of America first. I mean, they want to get rid of America first. They don't want America first. You know why? Because China doesn't want it. China expressed their uh, wish, please get rid of America first. And the Biden administration said, oh, that's OK. We'll get rid of America first. No, we don't want to get rid of America first. We want to put America first. And other countries should put themselves first, too. And I tell them that all the time. But we don't want to get rid of it. So uh, I don't know what is going to happen. I know one thing. Joe Biden did not get 80 million votes. And I got 74 million, but there were many ballots thrown away, so I got much more than that. But I got 74 million. 74 million is 11 million more than I got last time. It's millions more than Ronald Reagan got when he won all. Uh, he won 49 states, I guess. He won 49 states, yes. And it's, uh, it's millions more, uh, millions more than Hillary Clinton got. Joe Biden did not get — and by the way, Joe Biden did not beat Barack Obama with uh, the black vote. It didn't beat him, okay? But they have him as beating him. And if you look at the numbers, the numbers are uh, false. The numbers are corrupt. It was a rigged election, 100 percent. And people know it. That's why you have people marching all over the United States right now. They know it was a rigged election. And look at what's happening in Georgia. A lot of things are being found in Georgia. And they are absolutely against showing — I mean, it's a sad thing. They don't want to show signatures. It can be solved if you show signatures. 
But you're going to find out the people that signed aren't the people that are supposed to be signing. You're going to find that the people that signed those envelopes, they didn't do the ballots, envelopes. And then somebody said maybe the envelopes were thrown out. There's tremendous fraud here. If you look at, wait just one second, if you look at 10 o'clock in the evening, you saw what happened. Then you had these massive dumps. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. You have Dominion, which is very, very suspect to start off with. Nobody knows the ownership. People say the votes are counted in foreign countries. No, no, and, and much worse than that, by the way, with Dominion. So, uh, you know, Dominion is also partially based in Canada, but it's based in other countries, too. And nobody knows where the votes, but, you know, Canada refuses to use Dominion. Canada uses paper ballots. So think of it, they're based in Canada, and Canada refuses to use them. They're smart. They use paper ballots, because paper ballots are the only thing, frankly, the only thing that really uh, you're going to get an accurate tab on, because those machines are fixed, they're rigged. You can press Trump, and the vote goes to Biden. All you have to do is play with a chip. And it's down, uh, it's shown all the time. All you have to do is play with a chip. And they played with a chip, especially in Wayne County, in Detroit. You take a look. In Philadelphia, you take a look. We've had excellent meetings with uh, senators from Pennsylvania, Republican senators and others. Uh, and they're seeing things. They knew it was dishonest, but they didn't know it was this dishonest. No, and you'll see it all. You'll see it all. So we'll see. Uh, speaking of uh, George, I'll be going there. Uh, I spoke with uh, the two great senators. They're great senators, Kelly and David. Uh, I'll probably be going on Saturday. We're looking for a site. We're going to have a tremendous turnout, and we seem to always have a good turnout. Uh, the people are very disappointed that uh, we were robbed. We were robbed. I won that by hundreds of thousands of votes. Everybody knows it. You go down the streets, there are Trump pen signs all over the place. And we won that by hundreds of thousands, Georgia. So they're disappointed. I don't want them to be disappointed. That'll solve itself. We're finding the votes. Once we get to the signatures, we'll take over 100 percent. Once we get to signature 100 percent, we will take over Georgia and we will get Georgia. But they have to show us the signature. Stacey Abrams pulled the wool over the Secretary of State. I don't know who he is, but the Secretary of State. He said he donated to you. Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, he says that too, but I don't know him. I never met him. I have no idea who he is. All I know is that's the ultimate. You know, he, I donated it to Trump. I respect Trump. I love Trump. I think Trump is great. By the way, we're giving nothing. This guy got played like I've never seen anybody played. Tell him if he donated to Trump, if he likes Trump, let us see the signatures. Why is he not letting us see? There's only one reason you can't see the signatures. That's because there's fraud all over the place. And even without looking at signatures, as you know, we found thousands of wrong votes. And by the way, always against me. It was not like 50-50. It was always against me. The other thing, take a look at Michigan. Take a look at what they did with respect to counties. Every county, 78 percent, 72 percent. 76 percent, 59 percent, the whole thing, one after another after another. And then you get to Detroit, and it's like more votes than people, dead people voting all over the place. But anyway, going back to Georgia just for a second. So I'll be going there on Saturday night, and maybe I'll go twice. It's very important that we win those races. These are two great people. I know them both very well. They're both great people, and uh, I think the two people, you know, I beat uh, the one gentleman. He ran against a congressional candidate who was an excellent person, frankly, and he didn't even live in the right community, and that's how we won. So now I have to beat him again. He lost as a congressman. He was going for Congress, as you remember, and now against Karen. And now, uh, and now he's running against David. He doesn't deserve to be there. He's a lightweight. And the other one is uh, either a communist or a socialist. I can't figure that one out yet. But he's either a communist or a socialist, probably a communist. This is not for Georgia. And I just want to tell my people, don't be disappointed yet, because this race is far from over. But I'm going on Saturday night. I'll be in Georgia. We're going to have a tremendous crowd. They're looking for the right site. Probably we'd love to take one of the big stadiums, but you can't because of the COVID. So we'll have an outdoor uh, form of probably an airport. Most likely, it's an airport. They're looking for the biggest space. And we'll have, you know, tens of thousands of people show up.
But I think it's very important. And then I may go a second time, depending on how they're doing. I may go a second time. But they're two, they're two really good people. Yeah. Yeah, please, go ahead. Mr. President, if the Electoral College votes for Joe Biden on December 14th, will you concede the election? It's going to be a very hard thing to concede, because we know there was massive fraud. So as to whether or not I can get this apparatus moving this quickly, because time isn't on our side. Everything else is on our side. Facts are on our side. This was a massive fraud. This should never take place in this country. We're like a third world country. We have machines that nobody knows what the hell they're looking at. I mean, you take a look at all the mistakes they made. Look at even Georgia. Look at all the mistakes they made. And that, all that was is a simple, you press a button. Look at, look at Georgia, all the, all the votes they found just by going. And I said they shouldn't even do it because it doesn't mean anything. They're doing a recount right now in Georgia that is meaningless. The only recount that matters in Georgia is to look at the signatures on the envelope. And you will find that those signatures do not match the people that were many of them, hundreds of thousands of them, hundreds of thousands. And I only lost by 12,000 votes. I didn't lose. I didn't even like to say I lose. I only, uh, I guess we're 11 or 12,000 votes short. That's out of millions and millions of votes. They just got it over the line. And one of the things that happened, I, I did so well, and I was told this in two other states, that they didn't know what to do. They panicked. Take a look at their drops at 3 o'clock and 3.42 in the morning on certain states. They did drops where you're going along like this, and then you have a spike that goes up to the ceiling at that. It's disgraceful. We can't let that happen. And I will tell you, in Philadelphia, the Republicans that State House Republicans are very, very upset. And it's sort of appropriate because Philadelphia has become very activist. If you look at what's going on, they don't want that to happen to uh, Pennsylvania, to the state of Pennsylvania. And it was, uh, I, don't, I don't even like to use, it was a rigged election. But, sir, just, just to be clear, if the Electoral College votes for Joe Biden, well, if they do, they made a mistake, because this election was a fraud. Just so you understand, this election was a fraud. I mean, they have Biden beating Obama on Obama's vote in areas that mattered in terms of the election, in swing states. And yet he's losing to Obama all over the place. But he's beating Obama in swing states, which are the states that mattered for purposes of the election. So, no, I can't say that at all. I think it's a it's a possibility. They're trying to look between you people. Don't answer, don't talk to me that way. You're just a you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. All right, I'm going to go with another question. Go ahead. So if if the electoral college does elect President elect Joe Biden, are you not going to leave this building? Just so you uh, certainly I will. Certainly I will, and you know that. But. I think that there will be a lot of things happening between now and the 20th of January. A lot of things. Massive fraud has been found. We're like a third world country. We're using computer equipment that can be hacked. They talk about glitches. How many glitches did they find? So a glitch. Oh, gee, we had a glitch. 5,000 votes. In all cases, right? In all cases, the votes went from Trump to Biden. They didn't go from Biden. The glitches were never from Biden to Trump. So they had many glitches. And they said, oh, we had a glitch. That, a glitch is like the equipment is a little broken. We'll fix it up. No. A glitch is, in this case, we caught them cheating. We caught them stealing. We caught a fraudulent effort to get votes. And they said, oh, yes, it's true. It, there was. But, and there were many of them. But, but here's the problem. There were probably 10, 20, 30 times that didn't get caught. We just got lucky and caught numerous of them. But what that is, is very simple. If you look at the glitch, the glitch means, right? It means, oh, we got caught. We got caught with the votes. And now, let's just call it a glitch. It wasn't the machinery. And by the way, the machinery, if you look, just take a look anywhere on the internet, you will see many, many people where they're experimenting with this stupid machinery, where if you set it a certain way, the votes go from Trump to Biden. If you look at these counties, if you look at Arizona, where I was going to win very easily, uh, I've had uh, the biggest politicians in Arizona say there was no way you lost Arizona. There's no way I lost Pennsylvania with his anti uh, 
fuel and with his anti-fracking and all of the things that they stand against. There was no way. Now, Texas, you all said that I was going to lose Texas by a lot, four points. I won Texas by eight or nine points, right? I won it very easily. In Wisconsin, you all said I was going to lose, or the polls said, certain polls, Washington Post, ABC, said I was going to lose by 17 points. Think of how dishonest. I thought I was going to win it, and essentially I did win it. It's very, very close. It's very, very close. So we're going to win because they found, by the way, in Wisconsin, they have found massive discrepancy, just so you understand, massive discrepancy. But they said I was going to lose by 17 points, and I won the state, okay? But it's very close. It shows very close, whether you say win or lose. It shows very close. But when you look at the massive discrepancy that we'll be revealing, that's already been revealed. Everybody knows it. They just don't want to play it. Between big tech and the fake news media, you just put out, like, this little railroad trade. Now, I think it's not right that he's trying to pick a cabinet. But I can't imagine whether it's courts or legislatures, if you're going to catch hundreds of thousands of false ballots, and I'm talking in each state. And just so you understand, many, many more votes that we're talking about that we need. You understand? I'm not saying we caught 23 dead people, but we were short 20,000 votes. No, no. We have tens of thousands votes more than we need in all cases, okay? In all cases. So I think you're going to see something. I mean, I think it's going to be a very big story. Yeah, please. Yes, Mr. Yes, yes, Mr. President. It's going to be not only a big story, it's the most important story of our time. Yes. Yes, yes Mr. President. If Joe Biden takes over the White House on January 21st, will you announce a candidacy for 2024? Well, no, I don't want to talk about 2024 yet. Will you, will you because this, this is far if and when from Joe being, Biden, I, 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 look, look, look. I and the people that work in this are very professional, and all of this stuff is coming. It's a lot of it came out. If you look at the Philadelphia meeting, if you look at the Pennsylvania meeting yesterday, a lot of it came out. This has a long way to go. This has a long way to go. You're going to find tremendous fraud. You're going to find fraud of hundreds of thousands of votes per state. You're going to find fraud of many, many times the votes that I need. Again, we're not talking about less votes where, you know, 20 votes, but it doesn't turn the election. No, we're talking about thousands and thousands of votes beyond what we need to turn a state. When you see that, I think it's very hard even for the media to say that, you know, Biden should win the state. And there's no way that Biden got 80 million votes. By the way, the only way he got 80 million votes is through a massive fraud. There's no way that he got 80 million votes. Can you give us a timeline on when you're going to present this evidence of voter fraud to talk about? Well, it's happening now. I mean, we're, we're, we're in courts. We're in courts. But we're also in front of legislatures. And we're doing very well in front of the states. Mr. President, if you don't think that the presidential election was legitimate, and if you think that it was stolen, what confidence do you expect voters in order to have when they go to the polls to vote for, say, Leffler or Purdue? Well, I told them today, I think you're dealing in a very fraudulent system. I think uh, I'm very worried about that. Uh, they are tremendous people. Kelly Leffler, David Perdue are tremendous people. They should be in the United States Senate. They're desperately needed. But I told them today, I said, listen, you have a fraudulent system. You have a system where the flick of a switch or the putting in of a new chip can change the course of history. And you have to be very careful. I read this morning where Stacey Abrams has 850,000 ballots accumulated. Now, that's called harvesting. You're not allowed to harvest, but I understand the Secretary of State, who is really uh, — he's an enemy of the people. The Secretary of State, and whether he's Republican or not, this man, what he's done, supposedly he made a deal, and you'll have to check this, where she's allowed to harvest. But in other areas, they're not allowed. What kind of a deal is that? They're not allowed to harvest during the presidential. But how can she say she has 850,000 ballots? That would mean that she's got 850,000 ballots for her. That's not supposed to be happening. That's not an election. You know, an election should be a one-day deal. You walk in and you vote. And if you can't do it, if for some reason you're not feeling well or there's a problem, but what they did is they used COVID in order to uh, defraud the people of this country. And the whole world is watching. And the whole world is laughing 
at our electoral process. The whole world is watching, and it's a very sad thing. A very sad thing. And you know what? I've done a lot of things. You just saw Space Force, and you've seen the tax cuts and the, the regulation cuts and the way we've taken care of the vets and what we've done with ANWR and Alaska and all the different things we've done, more than just about anybody's done, and even though it's four years. Uh, there are those that say what I'm doing right now is the single most important thing I've ever done. And I think it may be true. It may be true. Uh, the vaccines, and, and by the way, don't let Joe Biden take credit for the vaccines. If Joe Biden, you know, Joe Biden failed with the swine flu, H1N1, totally failed with the swine flu. Don't let him take credit for the vaccines, because the vaccines were me, and I pushed people harder than they've ever been pushed before. And we got that approved and through, and nobody's ever seen anything like it. And you got a big resistance in the FDA from years and years of people working there, for years and years, different administrations. But uh, the vaccines are — there are those that say it's one of the greatest things. It's a medical miracle. Don't let anyone try and take credit for it. But with all of the things I've done, this could be the most important, because there's been voter fraud going on, but never at this scale. Tens of millions of ballots have been sent out to people that didn't even want them. Many people, and I know you've heard, many people have received two, three, and four ballots. And many people have taken those two, three, and four ballots, and they voted them. This election was a fraud. This — it was a rigged election. I mean, I hate to say it, but this was a rigged — at the highest level, it was a rigged election. So we have to figure it out. And, yes, I think it's very dangerous for the two people that are running against two totally unqualified people. And I think it's very dangerous for our nation. And I'll go a step further. I said today, other than the fact that you have all of the eyes and ears, but the media doesn't cover it properly, because the media would — if they saw something wrong, I'm convinced the media would not report it, because, you know, you have many things that you know are wrong and you don't report. But if the media was honest in this country, which, you know, for the most part, they're not, this would never have happened. This has taken place. This fraud has taken place. If the media were, were honest, this would never, ever have happened. But you have a big election coming up. You have a woman or somebody announced 850,000 absentee ballots have already been collected. 850. And I told David Perdue today, and I told Kelly yesterday, I said, they're talking about having collected already 800,000 ballots against you. You can't do that. You can't do that. What kind of a race is that? You can't allow that to happen. And I'm serious. If the media were honest, and if big tech were honest, which it's totally not, it's, it's a terrible thing. That whole Section 230 is a disgrace that they even have it. But big tech is totally dishonest. If the media were honest and big tech was fair, this wouldn't even be a contest. Uh, and I would have won by a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount. And I did win by a tremendous amount, but it hasn't been reported yet. But people understand what's happened. They know what happened. Yes, please. You know, of course, it is tradition. Say it. For, you know that it's tradition for previous presidents to go to the next president's inauguration. So will you attend Joe I don't want to say that yet. I mean, I know the answer. I, I'll be honest. I know the answer. But I just don't want to say it yet. Look, a thing like this possibly has never happened before, but maybe people just didn't catch it. But we've caught it. We've caught – we've caught hundreds of thousands of votes. If I may, L listen, if I may, excuse me, excuse me. If I may. When they don't allow a poll watcher, which is a sacred person in our country – people don't know what a poll watcher is – a poll watcher is – it's considered sacred in our country. When they throw them out of rooms – But that's not true. They didn't do sure that. Sure it is. Your and attorneys, when they put them in pens – Your attorneys admitted – Excuse me. No, they didn't. My attorneys did not admit anything. And it's all different places. But where they throw them out of counting rooms, where they put them in what's called pens, and they're 20, 30, 40 feet away, and in some cases, 200 feet away, when things like that happen, when a woman walks in on November 3rd to vote, a proud woman — and this is by the thousands, tens of thousands — and she said, I'm here to vote. And they said, you've already voted, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, I didn't vote. I wanted to vote on November 3rd. I want to cast my vote in person. I'm sorry, ma'am, you've already voted. You voted by ballot. And then they leave. This is a horrible thing. And we have tens of thousands of that happening. This is a horrible thing. 
They gave Biden a lot of votes that he would never have gotten. Uh, this is not a candidate that could get a 80, 80 million votes. This is just not a candidate. This is not a candidate that beat Barack Hussein Obama with the black voter, okay? This is not a candidate that beat Obama with the black voter. This is not a candidate that beat Hillary Clinton to a pulp. It just doesn't work that way. But when you look at the number, when you look at the data, and when you look at the things we have, we have affidavits from hundreds and hundreds of people. This election was a rigged election. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.